This is by far my most frequent asked question that I get. Hey Neil, my website is new and I'm still not seeing a lot of visitors. How long before I can start seeing results from my SEO efforts? When you're putting all this time and effort into making your website get to the top, you're anxious. You want to see results right away, don't you? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and in this video, I'm going to break down the question of how long does SEO take to work for a new website? Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. SEO used to be easy and following a specific formula will get you to the top of page one. And in many cases, when I started my SEO journey back in the day, you can get a top of page one in a few months, maybe even six months at the latest for a head terms that were like auto insurance and credit cards. But nowadays, SEO is super competitive. There's over a billion blogs on the web. That's roughly one blog for every seven people and there's even more websites out on the web. So when you combine all of that, it makes sense on why SEO is so hard because now Google has its prime pickings to figure out which website they want to place at top. In other words, they can be super picky while five, 10 years ago, they couldn't be as picky. So first, let's start by seeing how SEO has changed over the years. Keyword research, this is one of the big areas. It wasn't nearly as a competitive market as it used to be. There are literally thousands of websites, if not millions of websites created every single day. As of January 1st, there are over 1.7 billion websites online. That's a lot of competition. It used to be that you can focus on five or six keywords, maybe even 10, and those keywords would bring in most of your site traffic. Companies used to be able to focus on small groups of generic keywords and see great results. The reality now is it's a lot different. Websites now must have a list of 50 to 100 keywords or more depending on the site. And at bare minimum, each page on your site is going to need to be targeted at least at one keyword. However, in most cases, actually three or four keywords per page. Now, the next thing that's changed is content. It used to be that you can simply write an article and implement the keyword a fair number of times and Google algorithm will rank you, AKA keyword density, right? The more you put a keyword in your page, the more they know about that pages around that topic and then you'd rank. Now that doesn't necessarily flow naturally and it didn't really work well for users. Hence, Google doesn't look at density the same way anymore. Google has gotten smarter and they've changed their expectations a bit. They're not just looking at a site shoving in the same keyword and stuffing it and ruining the searcher's experience. They made some big changes to improve their rankings by not showing low quality content as high. So now when you're writing content, it's not about putting that keyword in there. Naturally, it'll be in there and other synonyms will be, which Google can tell because think of them as a big dictionary and thesaurus. So they'll know what the article is about even if you don't have that keyword in there. Their main priority is to deliver high quality content and keeping the search intent in mind. Remember when someone types in a search query, it usually is a question. Right? It's not necessarily specifically a question with a question mark, but when someone does a Google search, they're looking for an answer to whatever they typed in. And if your page does that, provides that answer with that content, you're in their good graces. If you don't, you're not gonna do well. So don't just shove in keywords within your content and write long pieces of article because, hey, people say Google wants a 2000 word article ranked at the top. It's not about word count. It's about providing what the user is looking for as quick as possible. If you do them 500 words, 2,000 words, 5,000 words, whatever it may be, whoever does it in the easiest form for the user without shoving in keywords and creating the best experience is who's going to do the well and the best in the long run. So how long does it take to rank on Google? Well, are you ready for this? The answer is it depends. I know it's frustrating, right? According to Forbes, the average it takes for a new site is four to six months to start seeing some traction in SERPs. However, because there are so many factors in SEO, there is no definitive answer. Every industry is different as well. It's easier to rank for a plumber in a localized city than it is to rank for auto insurance naturally. On average, based on my experience, even if you're starting a new website and you're actively working on your content, on page SEO and link building, it can take roughly six months before you start seeing results. It doesn't mean in six months you're gonna rank at the top and get what you want, but it usually takes six months to start seeing traction. And the best way to start seeing the traction faster is going after long tail phrases, which convert better than head terms. So if you wanna rank faster, there's some important SEO factors that you need to know if you wanna rank. The first thing that we should look at is your site, and is it secure and is accessible to Google crawlers? 
Are you using HTTPS? Is your robots.txt blocking the right pages, allowing access to the right ones? Using a sitemap and submitting it to Google Webmaster Tools so Google can crawl all your pages? Is your website fast in load time? If it's fast, not only is it going to boost your rankings because that's a part of their algorithm, and you can use Google PageSpeed to see how fast your website loads, both on mobile and desktop device. It'll tell you what to fix as well. But mobile uh, speed time and desktop speed time also affect conversions as well. The other thing that you need to look at is, is your site mobile friendly? Did you know that over half of searches on Google are done by mobile devices? If your website doesn't look nice on a mobile device, like an iPhone or an Android device, don't expect them to rank it high up. The other thing you have to look at is, do you have authoritative content, right? If you just have me too content, it won't cut it. Google doesn't want the same regurgitated content over and over again. They want you to provide something that's unique that people haven't read before. Every time I blog on something new, we're seeing on average 47.6% more traffic than when we blog on something that's been regurgitated and is old. So in other words, try to blog on something that's new that people haven't seen before. I know it's frustrating, but the world has changed. And yes, there still is new stuff that people are learning about. Not everything has been written, even though there's over a billion blogs on the web. Another thing you need to look at is quality backlinks. Getting links from authoritative sites is one thing, but if those sites aren't related, you're not going to do as well. Are you creating an amazing enough content to attract the right type of links? Are you creating an amazing product and service to get more links? Do you know what section of my site gets more links than any other? It's actually Ubersuggest. Did you know I've generated over 10,000 backlinks alone just through Ubersuggest? I'm not going out there asking people for links. They're just linking to me, and it's attracting them. Another thing I want you to look at is social signals. Even though social signals have no effect on ranking according to Google, there is a correlation between pages that rank high and have a decent number of social signals. Remember, Google wants to rank pages at the top that people love. So if people love a page, they're more likely to link to it. They're more likely to share it on the social web, right? They wouldn't just say, hey, I'm going to link to it, but I would never share it. They go hand in hand. The other thing that you need to look at is, do you have your business information listed, especially if you're a local business? You need to claim your Google My Business profile. You need Yelp reviews, Google reviews, have a good Better Business Bureau page. The more reviews you can attract, the better off you are. The big takeaway is when you do the right things and you go above and beyond and put the user first, you're going to rank faster than if you just try to optimize your page for Google and not put the user first. If you need help with your SEO, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll answer it. Please share the video, like it. I'll see you soon.